So let us try a little bit more to understand what seems to be a clear reset that the Labour Party has indicated and specifically directly in those very terms uh, by the head of the Labour Party, by the leader of the Labour Party, Zakir Sharma. But to get a chance to understand this, this further and also see what implications that could have on business relations between the, between the two countries, especially under a new Labour administration if it were to come next year. It's a great pleasure to be joined by Jonathan Ashworth, who's uh, Shadow uh, Secretary uh, for, for Works and Pension and therefore all this question of employment and work and you know, what's going to happen out there is very much in your, in your remit. I said um, if a new Labour government comes comes next year, it's looking rather likely, isn't it, right now, even, with the lead in the polls that you've got? Well, well, we, we will see, but I'm absolutely delighted to be at the forum today to talk about the relationships between the United Kingdom and India. That's a really, really key relationship for us in the Labour Party. And I think the fact that we've brought our prospective Prime Minister here, Keir Starmer, that we've got senior members of, the, of a potential Labour cabinet here, like myself, is an indication of the seriousness in which we take the relationship with India and the way in which we do, if you like, want to reset that relationship. We are looking to the future, but I'm also deeply aware that historically, the ties between the UK Labour Party and India were deep. Our bonds were strong and I want to rekindle that. And one of the things that I'm exploring, both as a shadow welfare secretary, a uh, potential welfare secretary, but also as a Leicester MP, where, as many of your viewers will know, there is a huge Gujarati community, so Kemcho, <laughs> to, to everybody. Uh, your, your Gujarati is probably much better than mine, actually. <laughs> uh, uh, Marunam Jonathan Ashraf Che. Uh, that's about as good as it gets, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's great. That's, that's about great. as good as it gets. But, look, you know, I know there was so much more we can do to strengthen our links. It's why, for example, I've said that Leicester, a city which has grown, which is dynamic, which is uh, the strong city it is today because of generations of Indians, either directly from Gujarat, sometimes from the Punjab, uh, uh, or have come to Leicester directly, or via Uganda, Malawi, uh, Kenya, and so on in the 1970s and 60s. Uh, Leicester is such a dynamic city because, because of those relationships. And I know we can do more. That's why I want to set up a Leicester-India trade partnership so we can do more in Leicester. But as somebody who wants to be the welfare secretary, I really want to learn from the way in which Prime Minister Modi has used AI, has used digital, has used technology to transform your social security services in India. Uh, digital payments, of course, which I've, I've been struggling to do in London a little bit. I keep forgetting you can't do, you know, wiring money or, P or PTM or QR codes as easily as you can in India. But before we come to the business part of it, let me just come back to the reset. You're right. There used to be a strong relationship between uh, Indians and, the, and India and the Indian community and, and labor. It's, it's been there for a long period of time. Then it seemed to have started to slide. It went off a, a, a cliff almost, uh, you know, uh, a, a few years ago. Is this a serious reset that Labour is pressing now? To say that, look, we are serious about it. We want to build relations with India. We would like to pursue a strategic relationship with India. Uh, and I think Sir Kate put it directly that mistakes may have been made, but this is a change Labour Party. This is most certainly a change Labour Party. And this is a Labour Party which is absolutely determined to have a good partnership with the private sector across the United Kingdom, but a strategic partnership with key economies across the world. And India is one of the most key economies. I mean, the Prime Minister's Modi has turned it into what something like the 10th biggest economy, economy something like the fifth biggest economy in the world, something like, something like that. So we want that strategic partnership, absolutely. And we do want to reset. We understand there have been difficulties. And I think, look, I, I think when you have a strong partnership, you know, I think we all have got to be honest, there will be, there are times when different, um, you know, different members of parliament may want to speak out on different issues. Yeah? That's just, that's, that's, that's political life in the UK. But in the end, the, what is an imp one of the most important partnerships between, for the UK is India, both in terms of trade, both in terms of the advances that we can make together. And look, why look at it like this, yeah? Look at the, look at the, the industries, which are the industries of the future. Life sciences, biotech, uh, AI, uh, green technologies. The world leaders in those industries is United Kingdom and India. And if we can have a partnership working together, we can be transformative. Remember, look, you know, India helped lead, I, I used to lead on health for the Labour Party uh, in the pandemic. You know, India uh, led on helping the world escape from that pandemic 
with the with its pharmaceutical base, its research, its vaccines, its therapies that it designed. Yeah, the UK has got great strengths in in uh, life sciences and biotech. I'm a uh, a policy fellow at Cambridge University. I spend a lot of time at Cambridge University. We are world leaders, and as are India. And I want us to work much more closely together, not just on life sciences, but also on AI. And the other area to build partners, which you were referring to, is when you're building the technological, again, very clearly with the United States, there was a very strong element of technology that was underlying it. Yeah. India is doing some great work in technology and making it accessible to people. So build those relationships, build them in AI, build them in digital, build them in payments, for example. Yeah. Is that something that would be a priority? Yeah, because look, I think AI can transform the way in which we deliver our welfare services here. I mean, it's unbelievable that we have here a welfare system where our transactions are around well, 215, 220 billion pounds yeah, a year, where we are paying out to millions of people. Uh, and yet, yeah, we have, we're responsible for uh, uh, probably the biggest IT estate in, uh, in Europe, uh, 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 millions of lines of code, huge compute uh, power. And yet, we're still losing 8 billion pounds in fraud and mistakes and error. Yeah, there's pensioners are losing out on 2 billion pounds worth of. Uh, 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 of their entitlement. I mean, these figures might not sound very big in an Indian economy context, but in a UK economy context, these are very significant figures. We should be using AI and technology to better deliver these services to our citizens, yeah? And we should be using AI and technology to better help people get into good jobs. It will make our economy more productive. And I really want to build a partnership and explore how Indian tech companies have been able to deliver this agenda for Prime Minister Modi's government uh, in India and see what lessons we can learn here and see what we can adopt here and whether we can set, whether, whether there are some partnerships we can develop here. That's something I'm very interested in as somebody who is uh, aspiring to be our work and pension secretary in a Labour government. This week will be remembered, you think, for the week where the Labour Party has come out and said India matters to us and we're serious about India and we're resetting our days. I think, I mean, absolutely. And I, I will just finally just want to say to everybody watching as a, as a, as a, Leicester, a Leicester MP, uh, uh, the links between India and United Kingdom, between Leicester uh, and India are strong. They will be strengthened. And I look forward to uh, 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 celebrating those links uh, uh, in the future. And uh, in a few weeks time in Leicester, we'll be celebrating our next uh, independence day uh, around all in in, uh, in august and then later on in leicester uh october november time uh, uh we'll be celebrating uh, uh diwali as well and 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 your daughter's birthday and my daughter's yeah. birthday and and i may even do a bit of dancing at navaratri <laughs> in september well, october that's time. absolutely fantastic <laughs> I, we, we, should, we should see that we should see how that goes absolutely thank you so much for doing thank this. you thank, thank you, you.